Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Laugh and Learn with the Fearless Competitor. It's another funny Friday, and our show is back and better than ever. <laughs> I hope you had a great week. What we're going to talk about today is using characters. This could, In this example, the software company finds a local weatherman, witty guy, character, whatever, and uses him to explain the news. So why can't you do something like that? Watch this video from Canaxis, and I'll be right back. Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls, and happy President's Day. It's one of those special Monday holidays of the year when we honor great Americans by leaving our trash at the curb for an extra day. And so Uncle Jay's news word for this week is preside. It's where the word president comes from. So what does preside mean? Preside means to be the boss, but a president is not a king. And our constitution puts quite a few limits on what a president is allowed to do. Now, many Americans don't realize this. And unfortunately, some of them have been president. So just in case you grow up to be president, here are a few details about how you would preside over America. First of all, like any job, there are boring parts. You have to meet with other world leaders, and some of them are kind of creepy, and you have to pretend you like them. It's kind of like Thanksgiving. And you have to make up the whole country's budget for the entire year. And that's pretty much what you do is make it up. And you have to make dull speeches full of big promises that everybody in the room knows you're never going to keep, but at least they'll all applaud like they believe you. A lot of what the president does has to be approved by Congress, just like what a lot of Congress does has to be approved by lobbyists. And then the Supreme Court's job is to tell the Congress and president that they're doing it wrong and have to do it over. And a lot of this back and forth between the three branches of government, is, it's kind of like playing rock, paper, scissors, except in government, it's more like dagger, quicksand, lap dance. But of course, the coolest part about being president is that you get to over blowing stuff up and you get to do it with other people's money and other people's know-how and other people. Most presidents have done this. And actually, if you grew up to be president, let's hope you never have to. Now, in this year's election, some people don't want Barack Obama to be nominated because they think that a president should only be a white person. And that's just wrong. It's just as wrong as some people being against Hillary Clinton because they think that a president and a vice president should only be a sacred bond between a man and a man. You probably already know the most famous presidents like um, uh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, and Martin Sheen. So far, 43 people have lived that dream where in America, anybody can grow up to become a commemorative plate or a paper doll that wears cowboy boots with its underpants. Hail to the chief. Well, sorry, there's no time to answer questions this week, but do keep sending your news questions to Uncle Jay at Uncle Jay Explains. Dot com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a good kid is good news. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a local weatherman who makes these uh, newsworthy videos for Canaxis. If you haven't seen Canaxis, they're a very innovative marketing company. So what I say to you, Mr. B2B Marketing, or Ms. B2B Marketing, let your freak flag fly. Go out there and find local characters. The weatherman, the sportscaster, call the local TV station, hire the person, bring them in, do a show like these guys do, have them broadcast the news. It's not hard to do, doesn't cost a lot of money, but it engages people. This is Jeff Ogden, the president of Find New Customers, with another edition of the Friday show, Laugh and Learn with Fearless Comp. Thank you. I'll see you next Friday.